Hey, 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 my dear subscribers, how are you? What's going on in your life? Welcome on my channel, English on English. And today we will have an impressive theme. It will be about how to replace the word you are welcome in our conversation. Uh, disclaimer, it is a phrase uh, which we use to answer on thank you. So, if you are interested, continue watching this video. word which we are able to use is my pleasure it is a casual and polite way to answer on thank you for example someone knocking in your door for perhaps it is a postman and she or she gives you a parcel and you are saying thank you um, that man can repeat oh my pleasure so first word is my pleasure Second one is casual and informal. It is no problem or no prop. For example, um, someone's grandfather asking you to read a number in his check and you are reading it. It is, for example, perhaps it is 34 pounds and he is replying, so thank you very much. You can say no problem. <laughs> and that next word is you got it so for uh, you can use it in different ways for example first way when someone asks you about something can you help me tomorrow you got it so it means you will help him or another one uh, you are serving a table for your friends and they are say replying oh thank you very much it was so delicious you can say, oh, you got it. So it means you have got it. So you got it. Next one is, it was nothing. Uh, when you are happy to help, when it's not so difficult for you, <laughs> so when you are delighted by something, it was nothing. For example, oh, Mary, thank you very much for babysitting all day. Oh, it was nothing. He's so cute, so cute child. He's a such cute child. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing this word. Yes, I can confuse. Um, next one is I'm happy to help. And that means you are happy to help. So it was fifth word. And the th sixth word is sure. It also has different meanings. One of them is positive, second is negative. For example, if you say sure, it will be positive. Um, in this situation, oh, thank you for helping. Mm, sure, it was nothing. It is positive. And another one, oh, I'm so sorry I late. Thank you for waiting me. Sure, it's negative. So, and please, Try to combine them. For example, sure, don't mention it. Sure, my pleasure. Sure, no problem. That will be better. Uh, this word was sure. Next one is anytime. When you will be, uh, when you are able to help for this man, uh, anytime. So you are, you can use this word anytime. Oh, thanks for this book. <laughs> thanks for leading me money. Oh, anytime, you are my friend. So, this word was anytime. Next one is don't mention it. It is the same like I'm happy to help because of it doesn't cost for you anything. Don't mention it. And next one is I'm sure you do the same for me. For example, you can use it in this situation. Someone is saying you so, oh, it was so crucial for me. Mm, thank you. I'm sure you do the same for me. <laughs> and it will be amazing conversation. And next one is when you are resending thanks for a man which sent it for you. 
<laughs> and you should say thank you. Mm, say it more positive. Thank you. And that will be thanks for this man. And um, next one. It is it was no bother. It was no bother. The same like it was nothing. You can use it as well. And the last but not the least is no need to thank me. Uh, for example, your grandma have, has asked you to make some grocery for her and you are giving it for her. So she is replying, oh, thank you very much. You are able to say no need to thank me. You are my grandma. I love you. Thank you, my dear subscribers, for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe on my channel. I will be significantly happy. So, and put some comment in description or where. <laughs> so, all right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. See you soon.